Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R350 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on network cards. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R350 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll hop in. Uh, this video is gonna be specifically dedicated to network cards. Um, so let's just go ahead and hop in. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna show you the uh, different types of cards that are acceptable, which is really just one, it's PCIe, and there's uh, an on two onboard one gigabit RJ45, but really the only thing that you can put in is a PCIe network card. We're gonna talk about the compatible interfaces, and then we're gonna talk about the compatible speeds that you can do as a whole. And at the end, we're gonna show you how to actually install it. So Let's just go and hop in. So uh, as we mentioned, the PCIe is the only type that you can use. Make sure that you get the low profile bracket if you're going to buy it. Um, and there are two onboard RJ45s, but if you want anything else, you're gonna have to use the PCIe. There's no network daughter card, unfortunately, for the 350. So PCIe is what it is, all right? So what are the different types of interfaces? Well, you have RJ45, which is another way of saying ethernet. You have SFP, SFP+, SFP28, QSFP and QSFP56. So there's a bunch of different types of interfaces that you can use when you go to our website, which you're gonna really see is RJ45 and SFP+. But if you want something else, definitely just let us know. We can customize to whatever you need. Uh, so if it's not on our configurator, don't worry, just message a sales rep and we'll take care of it. So what are the different speeds? Well, you have one gigabit, eight gigabit, 10 gigabit, 16, 25, 32, 40, or all the way up to 100. Yes, you can go all the way up to 100, which if that's something you want, again, just message our sales team and we can definitely pop it in and add that for you. So, all right, now that we know about the uh, different types of cards, which again, is just PCIe, now that we know about the max uh, speeds, we know about the interfaces, let's go and show you how to actually install them, which is a pretty simple process overall. But before we do, I'm gonna grab my ESD gear, be right back. All right, so I have my ESD gear on, safe to do our install. Just laid out a few of the different types of cards as a whole, so we're gonna go ahead and toss these to the side. And again, you'll note all the cards we had were PCIe and low profile, because that's what you're gonna need for your 350. So in order to do the install, it's a really easy install. We're gonna remove our riser, which just comes straight up. No tools needed. And once you pull it up, you're just gonna wanna install your card right there. Before we do, we do need to remove our current bracket. So all we're gonna need to do is line up four main points. You have the tip right here that you're gonna line up down here. You have the two points of your lead that you're actually gonna install into the slot. And then the PCB right here, the green PCB is actually gonna go in this black slot over here, which is one of the first things you actually need to line up to start. So we're gonna start with that. We're gonna line up our black piece. It's just gonna slide right through the plastic. You see how it's lined up right there. And then we're gonna put our tip in down below. So let me get this squared back up to make it easier for y'all to see. So this is gonna slide straight down. So the black piece again helps kind of guide the PCB down. It's gonna help guide this tip in over here. And then we're just gonna push this in and make sure it's firmly connected. You can't see any of the leads at all. And that's it, you're done. So now we're just gonna reinstall our riser, which again is pretty simple overall. I'm just gonna wanna line this up. And once you have it lined up, just push this down, make sure it's nice and flush and we're done. So it's just that easy to install your network card. And I will note, you can install more than one network card if you wanted to put two in, you can definitely do that. So, well, hey, if you made it this far, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we do new and we do use. Please email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. And one of the things I did want to note, if you're looking for a 24 seven or eight by five on-site support, we can do that for used servers. So we can do on-site support for used servers.